Well, Mike and Carol, good afternoon. Oddly enough, we are in the middle of ceasefire week here in Milwaukee. The pastor of this church, just a block away from one of yesterday's shootings, tells me something more needs to be done. People should feel safe in their community and their neighborhood. They shouldn't be worried about if they're going to get shot or get hurt by anybody. Pastor Michael Champion is a man of strong convictions. For him, nearby shootings hit especially close to home, and not just because he runs a church a block away. And that was a picture that was taken, uh, strangely enough, at a family reunion, not knowing that they would be taken. Two of the pastor's sons, seen here in his arms, were shot to death as young men, a result of gun violence. Years later, Champion's heart aches when he sees more bloodshed on his doorstep. My feeling was the pain all over again of losing my two sons from this young girl that's been shot who hasn't done anything with anybody, just a young girl. This latest round of shootings in Milwaukee coincides with Cease Fire Week, an effort among churches and city leaders to fight against gun violence, even offering a gun buyback to get weapons off the streets. But the criminals are not going to turn their guns in because that's their power. You can forget about any criminal that sells dope or robs innocent people thinking he's going to go turn his gun in. It is absolutely not going to happen. Instead, Champion maintains striking a dialogue is the ultimate weapon in the fight for safety. Changing that mindset, even one mind may make a difference after all. You got some homeowners around there. You got some honest, law-abiding people that are just making it the best they can, and they're tired of it. Now, along with church involvement, ceasefire week continues here in Milwaukee. We'll check in with city and church leaders hoping to make a difference tonight on Live at 6. Live at 24th and Capitol, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. Yeah, and amen to what that pastor yeah. had to say. Thanks, Cody.